Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, thanks. Thank you, everybody, for coming, and thanks to the organizers to give me the opportunity to speak. So, uh, my presentation is about uh, Archaeopteryx JS, and uh, basically what it is is it's an it's an open source, completely JavaScript based tool to display uh, phylogenetic tree. But its particular point is the you know to be interactive, interactive exploration of trees, not just static display, but yeah, to really help users to explore the trees. And for example, what it's not for, it's not it's not meant to produce public uh, publication quality figures. So that, for this, it's, that's not its purpose. It's really just an exploration online of trees. And here you can see an example, uh, you know, how it looks. So it has a, on one side, you have the tree display, and on the other side, you have all kind of controls, which depend on how it's configure, configured, they might look a little bit different. And um, so this tool has a standard feature, which most other tree displays tool also have, like you can choose how you want to display your tree as a phylogram or a, a cladogram or a lined phylogram, and you can zoom and pan either with the mouse or keyboard, and you can adjust the size of um, things like labels and branch thicknesses and things like that. And also you can export your tree as a PNG or a SVG, and also in a te text based format like a New Hampshire format, also called NUIC or Follow XML. So those are kind of standard feature which most tools have. And then you also, you can actually click on nodes and there you can, uh, you can do various things like you can display the data in the node, you can collapse, uncollapse, you can go to the subtrees, uh, you can return to the sub super tree, you can delete the node or the, or the subtree there, you can reroute the tree and uh, reorder and swap nodes and things like that. So there's quite a, you know, again it depends how it's configured and what data you have in the tree, it's a little bit different what you can see, but there's quite a few things you can do here. So, and then this, I think this feature is relatively, is a, maybe a highlight or it's, I think I, for my personal use it's very useful, it's the, the searching. So you have, you have two, you can do, in parallel you can search two things, which then will be colored in, in different colors as you can see in this example, it's green and uh, red. And uh, this search also allows you to do end searches or you can do regular expression searches and you can, so you can invert the result. So it's quite flexible what you can do with the search here. And then another thing is you can automatically collapse the tree and that you can either do it by just a, the node death or also if you have like, if the tree is annotated in particular ways where you have like internal features, you can also use these features to, for example, say you want to collapse at the genus level or species level or something like that. So there's a var variety of ways to collapse the tree. And Another unusual feature is, again, if your tree has a, and that one requires you to use follow XML, if the tree has various uh, annotations, for example, here's a, an example from viruses where you have like years of infection or country of infection. So you can actually visualize these things as, as, as different, I mean, in different ways, for example, as colors or as the shape of the nodes or the, the, the color of the node. So there, it's quite flexible. You can see here you can control it, you know, how you want to visualize it. So that's another feature. And uh, the availability, so that's, uh, the, the program is a, it's a LTPL 2.1 license, and it's both on, a, a, on GitHub and also on a, um, NPM, so you can download it from there. And there's also links to, uh, um, documentation and examples, so you can learn how, how to, uh, you know, how to use the program. And uh, one reason why I'm presenting here is, I mean, one reason is that I just want to let people know about this program, and the other thing is also I hope to, you know, people help me, you know, if people want to join the development, that would be very great, and I would be happy to have more developers. And um, yeah, I think that, that's about it. So yeah, please go to the those websites and uh, look at it, or there's also a poster, I think it's still up, so you can also look at that if, if you want more information. And, uh, of course, if you have questions, you can ask me, there's a, you know, on the websites, there's contact information, so I'm happy to help if you want to use it or have questions about it. So, that's it. Thank you.